Welcome to the Writer's Life, a place where you get the sight, sound, smells, taste of my particular writer's life, and where you get the truth. Um, subscribe, press that like button, and hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one, even one tiny moment, tiny exciting moment of these videos. How exciting they are. Um, so Chris Cuomo's book got canceled. Harper Collins dropped him like a hot potato. Um, so <laughs> he's gone from CNN anchor to fired, Sirius XM radio host to fired, and now his book is canceled. What is a man to do? I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, is what it is, I guess, right? The media is a tough business. Anyway, speaking of the media, uh, I was on a radio show the other day down in New York, Fran Lewis's program, with uh, Mystery Greats, Dick Belsky, and Charlie Salzberg, and Dennis Palumbo, and uh, the inevitable topic of advertising and marketing came up, um, which it always does. And up until this year, I used to spend thousands upon thousands on uh, Amazon ads. I think to date, over the past five years, maybe I've spent like $20,000 on them, something like that. Anyway, I had just had it with them. You know, like, to me, it's almost like an extortion, um, a form of extortion, I guess. Um, in other words, you have to advertise or you're not going to sell books on that platform. Anyway, I think I figured out a way to basically do all, or basically do almost zero. Amazon ads. That means I don't have to sp spend money on them at all. Um, just just a minimal amount. So what I've been doing is, and I find this works really well, I've been giving away a lot of free material on Substack. I have a Substack page. You should check it out. It's called The Writer's Life. And I think between that platform and the YouTube platform where I give away free content every day, as you well know, um, I've been selling probably more books than I did when I was advertising. So go figure, right? Um, you know, also, I'll run promos like I'm Bargain Booksy and stuff like that. Um, I hardly ever submit to BookBub anymore. Um, the last BookBub I did was on, you know, I shouldn't have done it actually. It was on behalf of a book with another publisher. And I was thinking like I had earned out my advance already. Um, but I had it, so like I got nothing out of that book bub, so I was like, dumb Vince. Anyway. But I will. In starting in January I'll submit to Book Bub um a few more times. Um but that's really the extent of the advertising and marketing I've been doing, aside from the usual social media stuff and all that court sort of crap. Um but you guys, you, you, you can only see advertisements on social media or pictures of my books only so so often. And, and then you're going to just like, oh, God, here he is, like, shilling his book again. So, like, that, you got to be careful with that stuff. Um, but what I find works the best um, in terms of advertising and marketing um, your books is to write the next one. And so that's why I'll be pretty much rapidly releasing starting in 2022. Um, and I've been talking about this forever, right? Um, and we'll see how that goes. My guess is, uh, um, it'll be pretty, it'll be pretty effective, um, uh, putting out a book a month, plus a short story, maybe a novella along with it. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.